people look at Washington, D.C. We, we set the example. We set the parameters for everyone else in our country. And if we can set the example that there's harmony regardless of if you're tall, if you're short, if you're black, if you're white, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you're from, but that we're all in this together. And I think it's just like interfaith work. I think we should show harmony. I think we should show loving kindness, that there's hope uh, for our world, that there is peace. Peace can exist. We brought all of these soldiers back home. We need to have something for them to do now. We need to show the world. What we, and it all starts here in Washington, D.C. This is the city of what is deemed power. And so if it's that kind of uh, secular power, it has to be that kind of spiritual power as well. So I think that the wider community might see Washington, D.C. as a place of concern for its people, and not just in Washington, D.C., but globally as well. As I drive through Washington, D.C., we have many monuments where we hold up our heroes, we lift up our heroes. And my thought is we have a lot of monuments to war and warriors. We need more monuments to people of peace. We need more monuments to those people who really contribute to their community in other very important ways by caring for both the bodies and the souls of, of others. So this need to lift up people, to celebrate them, to say to the rest of the community, these people are making an important difference. This recognition is very important. Human life need models to show us how the best to do it. What is our best human expression, you see? So we can see what we can do. This is the capital. The capital, we know capital also means the head, you know, and that's leadership. So it should represent that in all aspects. This is the center where we all come to congregate all of our state's interests from wherever we are around the nation. We have to focus here. We come here, we come together, we collaborate. All the states really, they're representatives, so that means all the states are here. And they're meeting together, they're speaking together. So the models that come from here radiates through the nation. The focus on community service is something that vast numbers of people in our community can relate to. They can either say, go, 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 this is great work you're doing, or they can say, I want to join too, or it's part of what I'm doing too. And so the opportunity to lift up examples motivated by faith in this case uh, and of what groups are doing uh, and to provide community service, to reach out to others in need, is a fabulous demonstration of the power of our faith, of our many diverse faiths, and of the fact that we are all called to be engaged in serving other people. We are all God's children. I think celebrating the work that's going on in an interfaith context in Washington is so important. First, people need to know about it. It's a powerful force for good in our city. And the more that we can focus on the positive things that are happening here, I think the more excitement we generate about other positive things happening and other involvement in social justice work happening. So that's certainly one benefit. Second, I think people really have a hunger to get to know people outside of their own communities. And I think seeing people doing interfaith work together is an inspiration for other people to maybe take that step in their lives to sign up for some sort of interfaith work or to seek out somebody from another community and to see what they could do if they put their heads together to solve a problem together. Anytime you start to lift up positive examples, you lift up the human spirit and you you know, without, again, using this as a cliche, you, you create hope. You create a sense that there's possibilities and that we can do things. You hear all the negative things that are going on in the neighborhoods, all the robberies, all the crime, all this, and, and at the same time then you see groups, which could easily be gangs doing negative things, but groups coming together doing positive things on whatever level, and you say, okay, this can happen. These people, people can be transformed. People can change. Um, and religion can play a critical role in that. So for me, when I hear those positive examples, then I feel hopeful. And I think D.C. then starts to feel hopeful. Washington is a great place to do social justice work because not only do you have um, the opportunity to dig into some really tough issues in terms of poverty, but you have an opportunity to do it on a national stage because um, as a nation's capital, uh, models that get engaged in here in our city have an opportunity to impact our, our national legislators. So the benefit of holding up these kind of models is to say 
Um, this is what a faith commitment means in terms of how people live their lives. And I think that's a powerful statement. I think it's a particularly powerful for folks who are younger, and particularly in D.C. where um, we hear politicians say words all the time that um, often translate into actions that are very, very different. Um, so to hear people of faith talk about this is what a faith commitment means and then to see that lived out, um, I think is very transformative and encourages people to dig into their own spiritual disciplines all the more richly.